First of all, just so you know, like doing something like this as a kid, never. Even though this isn't live, this is a recording, obviously. We could just not post this. We could edit it. We could delete sections out if we want to. We don't ever do that. We usually just put it raw out there. But even this, I wouldn't record something sitting here talking and telling stories and answering questions and telling you. Hell no. When I was a kid, hell no. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never give it up. You know I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never give it up. You know I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you. Welcome to a new episode of the Breaking the Cycle podcast. Today, we will be discussing confidence, our stories when we've experienced it, and some examples of how you can too. Wow, hell of an intro. I think that's better than the intro I heard you practicing, Tyson. No, my intro is way better because it, like, it was. Today it was, is the series that no one count. knows about and no one. I say cares we mute him. Touch that mute button again. They did that with some other episode, and I'm sitting here talking, and I don't get any feedback in my headphones, and we had to restart the entire recording because these little shits muted me. They hit all kinds of buttons on their little nerd keyboards over here, whatever this is, little soundboard. I didn't buy it. Under the little buttons that you're doing. I have a feeling one's about to come in. What? Don't me. All right, let's roll. So we're talking about confidence. We're going to give some stories about confidence, what confidence means to us, definition of confidence. Stop trying to look at my jokes, sucker. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, jokes. lately he's been giving us jokes. Yeah, I'm so. going to start off with a joke today. All right, let's go. And I got. got some confident jokes. Get it? Because today we're doing confidence. No, we didn't get it. Oh. And you stole an idea from me because I told you last week I asked AI for jokes on, what was last week? Energy? Last week we talked about energy mm-hmm. and their jokes. I actually got good jokes. This week they gave me shit jokes for confidence, but probably if you asked AI, and I'm going to know what they were. Show. It's a kid's show. Oh no, I hope you don't. Go. All right. What do we got? Why did the confident math student bring a calculator to the exam? I didn't see that one. Why did the, say it again? Why did the confident math student bring a calculator to the exam? This is so dumb and not figureoutable. I feel like it's not. So let's put the Because a lot of the ones they gave were really dumb. Let's put the finger on the button. Math student, confident no math stalling. student, bring a calculator. I don't know. I can tell it's going to be dumb. Give me a hint. Screw you and that button over there. You're always hitting on me. Uh, Screw that. Give me a hint. Eh. Eh? Hold on. That's not a very good hint. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to think of a hint because it's not. Because it's so it's freaking very dumb. It's straightforward. Because it's probably so dumb that there is no such thing as a hint that would be even hintable. Yeah, I don't think there is a hint that's hintable. You got, if you can't give a hint, okay. that means it's a okay. dumb question. What do you use calculators for? Figuring out, cheating, easy, making it easy. Faster. What do you do to numbers? Add them, subtract them, multiply them, punch them in. Too late. I think we have to hit it again. Because he failed so miserably. They knew they could count on it. Horrible, not figure outable, horrible joke. Your AI has so let let's you get down. a better one up in here. Yeah, I'm not going to do one right now, but AI has let you down again. Oh, all right. Just some rag all right, so let's jump into confidence. Let's jump into confidence. First of all, before any like formal definition or nerding out, I'm sure you looked something up or whatever. What, Midge, what does confidence, just to you, your own words, what does confidence mean to you? Confidence means like and cur- courage and confidence is almost the same thing. Being courageous to do something, not being afraid. Almost like being brave. It does I didn't like, think of it that way really, but it is kind of. It does make if sense. If you're not confident to go do something, then that's the same like not being brave to go do it. Like, if you're not confident, then you probably won't go do it. You have to have confidence to like be able to let's accomplish something. Of, okay, and let's keep it rolling. Yeah, that. And I didn't think of it that way, but it's kind of the same as mine. If I think about it, like mine is. To me, confidence is not really giving a shit about what happens because you're confident that you're going to be able to figure it out. You're confident you're going to have the tools. That's why confidence is the third in the decaf series, like Tyson wanted to talk about. But decaf is how we rate ourselves every day. Discipline, energy, confidence, action, freak. Every night we rate ourselves one to five on each. Would we get a total of score of 25? So if I have my discipline and my energy, I'm confident that I don't have anything to worry about because I have my discipline and energy. What could I have to worry about? I could lose money. I could lose a deal. Shit could not go my way. I could fail something. I could fuck something. Kids also, shot. there hasn't been a single day, or maybe there was one day. I could screw something up, but what? I have the confidence I'll be able to figure it out, deal with it, and dude, it's an attitude. But also, it's because I'm prepared. I'm confident because I'm prepared, because I practice, because I put in the time, the effort, and I have the, have the discipline and energy to get me consistent enough to put in the effort and the energy 
that it gives me this attitude. I don't have to worry about what happens. I don't have to be stressed about, oh, what's going to happen later in the day. After this, I'll be uh, on someone's podcast. It's a live video. It's not a podcast where it's recorded. It's live right on Instagram. I'm confident going into it because I know I'll be able to figure it out. It doesn't matter what kind of questions I'm asked or even if I do screw something up or don't have a great answer, I'm confident that I'm going to be totally fine. Like, who, ca- who really, when it comes down to it, who cares? So it makes you confident uh, being able to figure shit out and really just proud of who you are. And that me is courage. You have courage, but you have to have the right tools behind you, I think, Midge, to build courage. Go. What, what you got, Tyson? What is confidence to you? I just wanted personal? to say something real quick. Every time I would rate myself, I don't think there was a single time when confidence was down. That seems like it's always up. It's weird. Because we always weird. know that even if our... So dis- even if energy is down like a four or even a three sometimes, discipline, it's never been below a four. But confidence, just for some reason, just doesn't feel like it could, goes down. It's weird. And it's reverse what I just said, oh, but it makes sense. maybe that means that we don't do stuff that's like outside of our... Com- no, I think it means that... Comfort zone. So I, it's kind of reverse what I just said, what you just said. If discipline and energy... If I have my discipline and energy, then I'm confident. But if discipline or energy was down, how could you still have five in confidence? I think it's because we've done it so much that you're still confident that you know you're going to be right back on track and the discipline and energy is going to be back the next day because you're aware of it. You know what went wrong. So you're confident. You're not worried about it and you didn't stress over it just because your energy was down. You still had the confidence because you know you're going to figure out how to deal with low energy. You're going to figure out how to deal with screws up is in your discipline. You're confident because you've done it so long. So it works both ways. So both of those, those are some good points. I never even t- thought of either one of those ways of thinking about it that you both just said. Did you guys actually know that my freak has only been down below five once? What? There, there's no way. Because some days your attitude is a little Mine is down. That's, for me, the two that are down the most often is energy, energy and freak. Energy and freak. But, Same here. But, Which is crazy, but that's somehow. But freak, it, it's not really attitude because like so freak is like doing what you want to do and living your own life that's like home lifing but i feel like every day i'm always like creating something either like drawing a picture or if you guys know what canva is then i usually sometimes do cool create cool stuff on canva or i'm editing youtube videos creating thumbnails for videos just i feel like being creative could also be freak. All right, but that's coming up in two episodes now, so let's say, save those ideas and stories for that. Just save those ideas for that. Yeah. Them. Freak? Or, yeah, I'm not confident. So, what, what does confidence mean confidence. to you? Confidence to me just means like it's not being overconfident or cocky. It's just like knowing that I could do or handle something. That, like, the 24 hour challenge. But why do you know you can do or handle something? Because I've done it before the previous 24 hour challenge the 24 hour bench press the wheel challenge the second time we did it after like the second hour i was so confident that that i would get to my goal of lifting 300,000 pounds because the last 24 hour weightlifting challenge that we did i didn't do as as good as i did i doubled my number from that challenge i i, I think it's just doing but what something. happened in between those two challenges? there was a year in between what happened in that whole year we did more 24 hour challenges. No, but what else do you do? Like you lift weights in that year? Yes. More lifting weight you ever did. Getting so stronger you and built, got the sets reps. and reps in and you got it done and you got more practice. And so you're confident because you put in the freaking work and put in the effort and it gives you that confidence. The time and discipline. That you, song is there? copyright. What are you singing over there? Do you know in. in it's called the rock song. In Roman, a confidence is also accountability. Like you're so confident in what you're doing in your work that it makes you hold yourself accountable because you're willing to answer for your work that you're putting out there so it makes you confident you need to have a level of confidence roman like an old fable or whatever roman architects or whatever those big huge stone structures and castles and Uh like roman stuff coliseums and all that so those big huge stone things there'd be a an architect say in roman in those thousands of years ago in the ancient rome and they would have their they, they didn't build that themselves, right? Because it's thousands and thousands of pounds of stone Wait, stacked on top. Of, they, but one person built it? The no. architect built it? Like, no. Hundreds of other architect. people. Exactly. He planned it. He, he managed it. He made sure everything is exactly done how it's supposed to be. But he had hundreds or even thousands of other people help him build these buildings and structures. But when it was completed, he'd have, whoever was in charge of that project would have to stand in front of the emperor and have people shake the stones with him standing underneath it. The architect standing underneath it. So, so if it wasn't sturdy, you're gone. He's a Roman freaking pancake. So 
That's confidence right there. So confident in your work, so confident, and not even your work, in the work of the people that you're leading and that you're teaching and helping and your specifics, and you are so confident you had attention to detail that you're risking your life, putting your life on the line behind your work. To build a building. That's the ultimate level of confidence right there. To build a building. So that's an ultimate level of, of confidence right there. What are some ex- ex- examples of confidence that either one of you had? Who's gonna go, who wants to go first? Can I go first? What you got? Okay, so we were on a trip. We were actually in Arizona, and we were driving there in a car. So we have an RV, though, but we didn't go through an RV because we were just staying at, like, a hotel. It was this really cool hotel. There were, like, rooms that, like, if you walked out of the room, you'd be outside. It was a really cool hotel in Arizona. But anyway, attached to the lobby, there was this restaurant, and we were ordering food there to go so we weren't eating there we weren't really sitting at a table we were just waiting for a bench outside the restaurant and basically we were ordering soup and i know that you shouldn't you don't really need details but why not so we were ordering soup and we were supposed to all share it but we accidentally told the lady that we wanted a small portion so I had to go on my own, go up to the lady that was going to give us food, like the waitress, or sorry, you can't say that anymore, server. Dare you call her a waitress or a stewardess or assume her identity, or not identity, what's it called? Gender. Gender. Assume her gender. Anyway, so I I can't make jokes like that because then the haters go on there and they say that we're creating that... Someone put on it. Hold on. Keep your thought there. Just have to remember this. We haven't had Some, a hit from the nose business. Well, we have. So there's long. so many of them right now that we would be here all day for it. It's just nonstop. We should just do one. We had episode. a family picture of us in the backyard, and it was all about like, confidence and the family. Like, it's into what we're talking about here. It's doing things your family, creating, I don't remember, creating memorable experience. I don't remember what it was about. It was in the last photo shoot we did. It's the four of us sitting outside. We're working out together as a family. Wait, and some, in, the, in this house? Yeah, it's just a recent photo remember shoot we just did. Photo like, shoot? A couple oh, weeks ago, one. whatever, a month ago. Someone's comment was, that is the type of family that would go and shoot up a club with pe- certain kinds of people in it in San Francisco and kill everyone in it. That was someone's comment on a picture of our family. That's the kind of things that are out there. Anyway. No wonder these videos get demonetized. Yeah, exactly. Why would there be a club of that certain type of person? Also, you two, bar, please don't matter. demonetize this anyway. video. And they like the stuff they put on there, whatever it gets you monetized. I'm uncancelable. Well, I don't I care. What's Francisco. gonna happen? What is the internet gonna cancel? It's gonna delete me? our YouTube oh, channel. No, I won't get any more views or likes on the internet. I only my have life will be over. Subscri- and just recently I got my first comment that's not mommy on one of my videos. <laughs> oh wow. All right. <laughs> so sad. All right, go back to your story. Sorry for yes. interrupting. So you. anyway, we were debating who should go up there, and daddy's like well, you know that I would and that mommy would, but why not one of you go and do it? And not, like, that's not even that true. I don't know if I said it like that. I, I probably just said it's your soup and you told her the wrong thing, uh-huh. so it's your responsibility to go do it. Yeah. I never said that I would go do it. I'm not good at you that kind that of stuff, really. You said that if you really. were alone, you would. When I was a kid, no way in hell. I would accept the small soup and starve before I went and went to go tell that person when I was a kid. I would oh, so be the, too the, like afraid and the, not confident enough to go do it when I was a kid. Let, let, let yes, a human the finish a sentence. Is- let a human finish a sentence. I would not, when I was a kid, had the confidence to go do that. I would have been too scared. I literally would not even considered it. Not even thought about it. It wouldn't even cross my mind that a kid, it wouldn't, I wouldn't comprehend that I should, I could, should, or would, or have the capability to go and do that. It would never happen. Never, ever, 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 ever happen when I was a kid. Also, the chicken quesadillas from that restaurant were so good. I know. Literally the best chicken quesadillas I've ever had. The soup was a little weird, though. All right, let's get back to the story. Yeah. So did you go and what happened? Get your face off of the microphone. Okay. It's not snow cone. Yeah. So that I'm done. I'm done. You finished it? Yes. Yeah, that's you said I told you that you should go do it. Did you go and do it? Yes. Yeah, you went and found her. Yes. She was like just near us. You went and found her. She was like back by the she, kitchen. She, the she was about to walk into the kitchen. You had to go like hunt her down and, and stop her. It was called Rita's Kitchen. And it- so, so Rita was I about just, to go into the kitchen and make the strong I just called soup. her Rita. For, I didn't t- say Rita exactly to her face, but it was called Rita's Kitchen. So I was telling them that I walked up to Rita and asked her for the bigger bowl of soup. Hey, Rita, no, we need a bowl, not a cup. Rita. Did you call Rita? You should have done that. It would no. pretty funny. Hey, Rita. Excuse me. Ray, Rita, ma'am. Rita. That would have been pretty funny. All She's right. like, I'm back to walk into the kitchen. And I'm like, hey, what's up? Give us a bowl of soup. What's a way, Tyson, that you have demonstrated confidence? Wait, first, Tyson, can you give like the Google definition? No, actually, 
Who wants to hear a joke? Not me. Can I please okay, hear a joke? Okay, he's not allowed to answer. I'm into the joke. He said, not me. You're out. That's the way we go. No, right no, here. no, no, please, yes, no. That is. You want to be a wise ass? Then you already placed down your chess piece. You already let it. your fingers let go of it. You can't take this. Isn't chess? This <laughs> I like is that. Pod- you already let go. That's true. Let that's go what, of your chess piece. That's what accountability is. No, there's no take backs. You took your hand off the chess piece. Next time, don't take your hand off the damn chess piece. I didn't. So you're confident in your move. Then how come your hands right. are holding each other? All right, the, the, I got this joke actually off of AI. But it was so bad. No, actually, AI didn't give me that. I had to go then Google them. Google gave me better ones. But the way they worded this one was so dumb, so I kind of reworded it myself to make it a little better. All right. Make it I like can, I can lift you up and bring you down in the same minute. What am I? Dude. Boat. Attitude could be good, but that's Happiness. not Happiness. No. People. Jesus. No. Haters. Please. I can lift you up and bring you down. Airplane? In a minute. No, but that could be uh, good. But boat? helicopter? No. Oh. Five. Four. Ah, oh, shoot. Three. I'm hitting the button. I want the satisfaction of hitting the button. It's no, it's this one. Oh, I'm gonna hit this one. There you go. You're getting a doing. I don't even know what ha- I don't even know what any of these buttons do. Mary is the one. I love it. You guys are so great. What the hell is that button? I love it. That you guys so are so dumb. great. That is so dumb. Why would that be a preset button? It's not I even know. doesn't even make sense. I wish they were like customizable buttons. Is there like one that says say- awesome? Which one says awesome? How do you know it didn't say awesome? Probably the one that says awesome. It doesn't that says say awkward. No, awesome one has to say oh, yeah. awesome. And then, awesome. And then right. yell is what? So you failed. All right. All right, I'll give you a hint. I can lift you up and bring you down at the push of a button. Elevator is the answer. I was such an easy hint once I said, I made up the hint too, by the way. Also, it turns out a minute, elevators never take a minute, no matter what. I don't even know what that means, but what's your example of confidence? Okay. When have you demonstrated confidence in your life? You worked on or whatever. That's what you got. Moving across the country. All right. How's that confidence? Explain yourself. Over four and a half years ago, we were living in New York and we had to pack all of our, we had one moving truck, but we had to pack up all of our stuff into one car and drive across the country from New York to Southern California. And we had to pack up all of our like personal stuff in the truck for like a, six or seven day trip and just once we got here i had to go to a new school and say that i had that that i came all the way from new york to california and just going into the school and just kind of fitting right in after like the first couple days just have because just having confidence you know most people don't leave even if they're miserable and hate where they live they hate their job. They might even get a better job opportunity somewhere like in a different town. It might be somewhere they've been for like their entire life since they were a kid and they hate the area like people in Rockland County. They're like that. Or and in Poland. I mean, and, sorry, Mom, if you're watching this. <laughs> she's our one listener. And and they don't leave because their kids won't be able to adapt to going into school. So they just keep their lives really? on hold. They say, oh, maybe when the kids graduate high school or maybe when they go off to college, then I'll get go and start living my life the way that we really want to live as a family they could be miserable there they could hate it there they hate everything else about where they live and their environment and even their job and the opportunities that they could possibly have and yeah they're whispering when someone's telling a story that's yes. really good that doesn't that's not I anything i just want to ask him if i should say something kind of on that topic probably not if you're having to uh whisper you probably whispered it louder than you're shushing it if i came out <laughs> probably came out live all i said was no can i say and then and so, yeah, that, that is, a, I don't know what I'm talking about. Talking about people won't leave until the kids Yeah, they to won't college. go until, because they don't, they don't have the confidence in it because their kids don't have confidence because they didn't instill any confidence in their kids to be able to just deal with going to a new school. You know the kids you know in school, I told you guys this uh, probably when you were switching schools, even though you already weren't that concerned about it. I said, y- you're not, kids that you go to elementary school with, you're not, the second you leave, even when we moved when we lived in California, you think that now that school stopped operating because now you switch schools? You're now in a different school. You think it stopped? Everyone stopped because Tyson and Midge no longer go there. Like they don't know how to function in the day. You think those kids stopped playing kickball in the in recess? You think they stopped t- telling jokes? You think they stopped? And they're not even our friends anymore. Exactly. Like you don't you didn't contact with them. Like the world didn't stop because you left. It's not like it was this big. Like oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? Life goes on. Things change. Our friends. Things it's move not forward. That they don't remember us, but they probably don't even think about us. They don't at all. There's a couple all. couple days, and you're no longer even a thought, or just a, just a, and whatever. All right. So confidence. And what happened to this? So 
when it, uh, it's comp- I did a joke we on confidence my, and that was her story of confidence moving across and not being like concerned about it I would have had probably it and I didn't even have friends and I still would have had the a- first the f- five days I remember I'd come home and like you'd like so how's the school today I was like eh, like a six six out of ten it took a few days to kind of like fit fit in and that's where I learned also how to greet people better like shaking hands and stuff when we moved here into this house that we live in now, like there was only 13 days left of the school year, but we just still finished it off for absolutely no reason. That was worse too. You went up there for a new school just for 13 days and then you're out of school. Like, I know, but I, I remember whatever. right when I got back after the first day, I was crying and I said to mommy, I want to find a different school and I never want to go back there ever again. And then she's like, well, can we at least try next year? And after this next school year, if you don't like it, then we can switch schools. But I hated it so much there. And the next year, I had a bunch of friends. And, and then, then we, we didn't only, even finish the school And year. then we only did September, October, November, right? You only, so you only did three months in that school, really. Yeah. Three and and the messed months. up part is, this house that we live in, one of the kids in my class used to live in it. So I got there. Oh, yeah. And... Yeah, it was really awkward. They said, you stole his house. Shh, yeah, I was known as like a house, house stealer. I didn't think of it, but this is a confidence thing too of mine. Like and Podcast, recording a podcast. No, that too, but it is a little kind bit. Of. It's confidence for you guys, like jumping on into it here and I remember the recording f- this. One time I watched the very first like BTC episode, like, not even like Breaking the Cycle podcast. When Breaking it's the cycle live, live. Or we used to do live. Breaking the Cycle live show. And you talked... The whole entire time. Because you guys would just sit there. And like I was around. like, we were literally just sitting there. And it used, it used to be me and her would just sit like this. And you were behind us. And, and you we, were in the middle. Yeah, you were like in the middle behind us. It was. But all right. So first of all, just so you know, like doing something like this as a kid, never. Even though this isn't live. This is a recording. Obviously, we could just not post this. We could edit it. We could delete section out if we want to. We don't ever do that. We usually just put it raw out there. But even this, I wouldn't record something sitting here talking and telling stories and answering questions and telling. Hell no! When I was a kid, hell no! Not even an option. Would never consider it. Would but never. But nobody happen. would ever even what, do it with what, you. What age well, would no one you would ever do it, it with me ever. Shit, thirty, forty. <laughs> now, probably something like that. You saw the first Facebook Live I did. We had that. We oh both laughed God. at that. that how was horrible, horrible that was. What was it? Literally for like the first. And that was like fifteen one and years and a half ago. Minutes, maybe not even. You're like. Hey, hold on and you're gone for like two and a half minutes because someone like came someone to, came the, to gym. the gym and i didn't lock the front door i learned my lesson you gotta lock the door because someone walked around the middle of doing a live video anyway just so you know you two do shit that i would never have had the confidence to do when i was a kid and you two do stuff now as kids that i don't that you have more confidence doing than i do as an adult now there's still things like even going to that lady for the soup probably have more confidence than i would go and tell like chasing that lady down into the thing i'll be like ah whatever we'll just have it who cares i'm not gonna waste my time but Tape pulling you out of school was also confidence. Leaving school and starting homeschooling on both of our sides, on your side and my side, and uh, and uh, as parents on our side, to say we're taking over full responsibility of our kids' education that you are no longer going back to school and we're gonna teach you or whatever you want to call it in homeschooling. Like that is a big thing. That's a big amount of confidence that it takes to say you're gonna take over full responsibility of your kid's education. Then a couple other small ones that are just kind of funny is, are these two things. Me and Tyson showed up at home and we were at jujitsu or jujitsu supposedly. And hi guys, meet Ricky. And we just show up with a dog. And then uh, and, uh, wait, five wait, months later. This, this one we could tell kind of the full story. You don't have to tell the full story. Just, we right. told that story. About we one of, yeah, we brought up. Oh somehow. yeah. And then, and then yep. meet, meet Lion. We just get dog that it was the right type of dog we wanted, the right situation, the right timing. And we just made the decision to show up at a dog. Confident that the family would be on board with helping out, with taking care of it. No one would be pissed off. Both us, mommy, everyone, that everyone is on board, not having to go get permission and ask for it and decide and debate. Literally, we we got in 30 seconds on the side of the road. 30 seconds. For a hundred bucks. For bucks. And from some a, crackheads. We turn up. We, you don't know that? Allegedly. Allegedly. They could be watching. They could be our only fans. Sorry if you're watching. And he it's turns just, out to be this awesome little dog. He's only like not even taking four, his he's like three or four months old right now, already well trained and listens and like so cool and fits in and part of the family. And so we had the confidence to make that move, to, to make a decision on the spot to make a move. And usually when like husbands or dads or something are about to do that, then they say, 
oh, I'll be, I'll, because she had like a phone number. So he was like, so they would, if they even about to buy the dog or if they even thought about it, he'd say, oh, I'll text you if I can come pick up the dog. I have to ask my wife. Oh, mm-hmm. remember at the RV? RV place. Another one of confidence. Yeah, Me and Tyson we were, went to we go buy an RV. We were inside the RV. $210,000 RV. And what did the guy say? We were like inside. We were talking about it. And you're like, we'll take it. And the guy's like, you I, sure? You don't need to talk to your wife or something? You want any other RV maybe? No, he's like, you don't want to think about it or you don't want to go and, and, no. and talk to your wife? I want it. I said, bro, <laughs> you're the worst salesman I ever met in my life. And I don't say the word bro often. I'll tell you that. You're the worst salesman ever. I'm supposed to be the one saying I need to think about it or I need to go talk to my wife. You're not supposed to tell me to go say the objections that I'm like saying I want to buy this. I've been here for 15 minutes and you're making a $200,000 sale. Like shut it up, get the paperwork, let's get this rolling, get me out of here in my damn RV. Like I know and we and so hungry too cuz we we didn't eat He thought that was so like long. our sales pitch. I'm like I'm like listen, guy, I don't have time. He's like trying to like, ask all these questions and like delay it and And I'm we're like, like right about to walk out of the door and he's like Wait. I'm like, guy, here's the amount. Back. Here's my, the terms and conditions I want. I'm going to go. I just finished working out. I need my post-workout protein shake. And he's like, what the hell is going on? I said, I'm going to go get my post-workout protein shake and I'll be back in 30 minutes. Here's the terms I need. Just text me if you can't meet these terms and I won't come back. If you can, then I'll, I'll come back. And they're like, no, let's just do it right now. And they just pulled it up and made it happen right there on the spot. They didn't even make me wait 30 like minutes. 10 guys on the job. Literally, they just jumped in, made it happen. We signed it. We took off and came to pick up the RV the next freaking day. So that was confidence right there. The Getting the dogs, the RV, uh, the shooting the Guinea guns, pig. shooting the guns, shooting the 50 caliber sniper rifle. You shot it before I did. You had, you had friends going to shoot yeah, that damn thing like, that I did I was like at Machine Guns Vegas. Old, and everyone was just around videotaping and stuff. Read the video that four, 40 oh, and bucks. remember when 40 B10 bu- recorded you boxing? Yeah, that was just a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah, B- and he said, nice work, boss. boss. Credits to BJ Penn if he's on YouTube. And if he's watching. Yeah. I really hope he's watching, but he's probably not. And what Please else was it? So the, the, the sniper rifle, $40 for one bullet, one trigger pull. And then even on that bike ride that we went on to, there was a section by the Marine Corps base where during Camp Pendleton, they make you legal to drive on the highway for nine miles on I-5. And I'm like, hell no, we ain't driving that. It's like a six, seven, six lane highway. No, you said it was like- 18 wheelers going says, by. It says no pedestrians, but then Tyson was like, well, we're, we're on- we're not In that on area, they say pedestrians means if you're on foot. So if you're on a bike, you're not considered pedestrian. We're they made that the change in the law just to make you be able to go on there. And I'm like, hell no. I found this other route on Google Maps we can go. He's like, how? 20 more miles. It was like 20 additional miles on the 130 mile bike ride that we're doing. So he's like, no, let's just go and do it. And we did it. And we almost died like 15 or 16 times, but we made the nine miles. And here we are. And that was confidence. Like things like that. These are the things we're talking about. Building that confidence, not just in yourself, but instilling it in your kids where they even generate and and have higher confidence than you. That's what we're talking about on confidence. And it's because they have the discipline and the energy. That's why this is the third piece to this decaf thing is, is the discipline and energy will give you the confidence. And I know if I have my discipline and I have my energy locked in, even if they get knocked off course, I don't have to worry about it because I know they're going to stay on track. They're going to get recentered that I could have confidence to do whatever I ever want to do. And on that note, we're almost going to be wrapping this up here in a couple minutes. Who wants to hear another joke? Uh, I no, yeah, so too late. I, 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 I brought it up. So I'm going to bring up, I'm going to do my next, my last joke. Here. It is, you can look at, you can me see they did this one too. They did it so bad, so I had to like reword it. You can look at me. I'll tell you no lies. I can show you the beauty in you, but not mirror. what's inside. Mirror. Dang it! I was mirror. gonna say that. It's so easy. You cut them off. So basically, you, technically, you're grounded now. These are the ones that came up with comp- that. Would be a point and a half for that. Can I please give you guys? Uh, give because you the question. If you, if you, an- okay, new rule. If you answer the question before the qu- the question is done, it's two points. No, one and a half. We already make that. No, that's like a split second after you say it. No, before it's done, it's still one and a half. All right, Fine. it's two. But if you're wrong, you don't even get another chance. You're an automatic zero. Okay. You can't even make another answer within the 10 seconds. If you give an answer, cut them off before they're done. But Mitch, All right. had, Mitch okay. had a really good All right, one. let's go, let's go. I'll tell you guys. What did the clean plate say no, to the... Do this one, do this one. Oh, how do billboards talk? Billboards talk with their bills. Like He's ducks quacking. Seven. Bill, like their Six. bill. Bill of a duck. Five. How do billboards Four. talk? Bill. Three. Hold on, you, know, you can't count aloud. You got to start with that because that's distracting. What? It has to be silent counting. Do it with your fingers. 
All right, say the question one more time. No, I'm not going to the question because I was totally distracted. That was not fair. What is it? Quick. What was the question? No, you got to start over and tell me the question. Then you can start counting. How do billboards talk with one another? With one another. Their lips, with their board, with their eyes, ears, nose. Billboards talk. The message, messaging. Give me a hint. What is another word for billboard? Sign language. Yeah. So I'd get a half a point. I got it. Yeah, that was, a, that was a one, but I can. That was a little You're too. You're not smart enough. Yeah, a little too smart for me. That's messed up, man. All right, let's wrap this up. Unless you have another. A, a, a Guys, I have also a question. Hell, I have, like a, I have a question. What, what language do deaf people like think in? Is this a joke? No, what? it's just a question. I don't know. Why are you? Bring, I don't know yet. I was just. It just. It was my mind. They don't think. They don't think. They don't think. No, they just think. Sign language. Sign language. How do you think sign language? No, I don't know. It's, it's a joke, language. so you could put it's anything It's not a joke. Well, it's a real. It's just a question. It's still a question. All those are questions. All, right. All riddles are questions. What? That's it. What is the answer? There is no answer. It was he just was a just thought in my mind. What the hell? All right, let's wrap this up. Let's take these people home with our confidence in, in generating your confidence in yourself and confidence. Like, look, confidence. They are working on Freak Fit, which is a kid's training coaching workout program online it's the same version of what i have the infinite freak fitness formula for for men for adults that i give to the clients in the freak father alliance which is the men's mentorship group coaching program in the mindset muscles money and meaning coaching program for men and it's confidence he's doing the same thing to jump on there he jumps on zoom and does a live video and then she helps him out doing a live video a live zoom workout training and teaching and working out with kids and it's the exact same level of coaching program that I do with high level clients and the workouts we created. We created all the infinite freak fitness formula. We created it together and it's the last workout program you ever needs. So if you want information on Concrete that or the million. men's coaching program, then just send me a message and I will hook you up and get you in on the action of the IFFF infinite freak fitness formula. The last training program you ever need or the freak follow alliance, the men's mentorship group coaching program. Take them home. Make sure you like, smash that subscribe button, click the notifications bell, click the like, click the like button, click the like, and, and leave share it. Click the like bucket. And cl click, sorry, I so many tongue twisters. Put a comment down below, click the like button, smash that subscribe button, click and the notifications bell for more Breaking the Cycle episodes. Share it with your birds and goats and everyone. And we'll see you next time. No excuses. We are out. So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me break, 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 break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you